Hey there, Dominic here with a short introduction to the pin extrude. The pin extrude is similar to Modo's curve extrude and Bezier extrude. So you can find that in the duplicate tab. Right click over here, you can choose curve extrude, Bezier extrude, and pin extrude. Make sure to watch the video on curve extrude because most of the settings are covered there. Now, when using the pin extrude tool modo crashes a lot at least over here don't know if it's a bug or not i've experienced that first selecting the geometry to extrude helps a bit in preventing modo from crashing but i think it's a bug anyway i've selected the geometry simple plane select pin extrude and now i can draw out segments in the viewport a difference with the curve extrude is that these are simple knots. You actually cannot choose segments. So with the curve extrude you can choose more segments or and have them automatically generated by Modo. Here with each click you generate one segment. You can choose to be it open or closed, aligned to path or not, aligned to normal or not. Usually do check this on with the pen extrude. You can choose to start at source. You can choose the corner scale. Now in with this geometry that I started from, you don't see much of a difference. But just try this if you have different geometry. Sometimes it helps to correct issues that you can have at corners. The current point, that's the point that is currently selected. The second one, when I select it in the viewports, when I click on the crosshairs, you see point 0.3, you can set its position over here by entering values over here or by clicking and dragging in the viewport. This is vector for UV mapping and you can of course also give it a profile, going to profile attributes. Right now it seems to be a bit big. I'm going to set it at 0.5, maybe better. Cap, um, let's see. The offset X. Invert my polygons. Anyway, with profiles, it's something you have to experiment a bit. Reverse X, reverse Y, maybe my size is too big. 0.1 ah, aligned to normal seems to fix it. Yep, aligned to normal, aligned to path. So with aligned to path unchecked, then my profile draws out OK. Anyway, if you start from geometry, like I've explained in the previous fits, you're normally not going to choose a profile, but you can if you want to. If you say, OK, I want this profile, but I'm going to start from geometry. Uh, <coughs> sorry, reverse Y. In previous examples it didn't do much, but when I choose different curves the reverse Y does have an influence. Maybe this one, reverse Y. Yep, so now reverse Y does have an impact, so it all depends on the kind of profile you're using. Reverse X, reverse X and Y. So most of it is pretty much the same as the curve extrude that I showed you in previous videos. The way you can start is pretty the same. You can start from a curve, from geometry, uh, from nothing and draw out and then choose a profile. Um, pretty much the same as in the curve extrude video. But as I've said, here you with each click you draw one segment. You have no control. You have you can not set a number of segments with the pen extrude. So check out the curve extrude video to learn more about these settings. Hope it was helpful and bye for now. This was Dominic.